Okay, so continuing my video, so I uh, just want to show one more example uh, to help you out. Um, okay, so I create another. Oops, why did I duplicate it? So I do. So this uh, hand, this is a hand. So I'm just using a placeholder for this hand over here. So I pen another cube. Um, gonna make it thin. Make it really thin. Rotate it a bit. And then put it right on top of the cloth. Right. So uh Okay, so the direction is actually going that way. So I'll make it make the call like this. Make it a bit thinner thicker as you want it to be, so one to eight resolution. Okay, I'll create. Okay, I'll let this sit on right on top. And I'll do a, a six rush of crack. X. Change it out a bit. X. Y. Yeah, maybe I'll do a Y this way. Y Okay, sorry, I don't feel like doing the XYZ now, so I'm just gonna do my own thing. And then uh take some reference of um of cloth lah, huh? So you know how the and also look at your center winkle to see how it works. And hopefully you can keep most of the winkles there. Oh, and then uh, try to go as far as possible. Some of this. And later when it stretches out, it will work. Okay, so I'll squeeze it down this way. And I'll stretch it up. Okay, and now I would make it do the gravity. Let the gravity do the work for me. So, um, take hook brush, make sure the dynamic draw size is off. Uh, so that my brush size will be super big as I need it to and when I zoom out I have a lot of control super important for the move brush or the snake hook brush to be super big then we will have the most control for this and then um, so you see, see most of the work is already done when the core already has the has the design of the wrinkles and the cloth Okay, so I just position it in, and then um, so it also works for creating cape, creating um. I'm using pinch brush just now to just pinch the center, and to just shape the center part. So you will have, um, let me hide some of this because the overlaying I think makes it a bit confusing, but kind of working on them as separate mesh. So if you have the whole character already and have the position like that, it will be a bit clearer. Okay, so I can smooth out some of the details and maybe I want to keep um, some of the Stretching a bit harder. So maybe I want to chop off quite a lot actually. Okay, so if I want to add more. I can do so. So I just want to make sure when whenever I'm adding, right? I know that I will have a process of stretching it later. So I'm adding only at this blue area. So later I'm stretching it. So whenever I'm adding, I want to make sure later I can stretch it. I can still stretch it down. So there's no point if I add at the bottom and then later I have no space to stretch it. So I'm adding at the top here. So I know I can still stretch it down. Okay, so let me chop off this area. Okay, so I can, if I can still stretch it down. 
Yeah. So depending on how you, how much you do, you can still ship it. Okay, so actually here, maybe I can do a little bit more details. Stretch it down. And you stretch it down to get the cloth cloth kind of effect. <clears throat> okay, same thing for this side. So maybe if I still don't quite feel it, I don't know. Um, then maybe on this side, I want to make more. So I can make it more. More volume to it, more folds. I did it even close holes. I can stretch it down. We let it follow the shape of the hand and then the let the rest let the um let the snake hook do the work and then just squeeze in at the bottom part. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Push it out. So let the cloth at the center be a bit relaxed as well. So just tuck in. Then the cloth would be more natural so flowing outwards so you're just letting the snake hook do most of the work for you <clears throat> okay. okay so this is for the second piece of cloth oh, so if you position it nicely you have uh, two pieces of cloth for two uh, separate areas over here Alright, so uh, that's all I have. I hope you've learned something. See you in the next video. Bye.